Hey, good morning or good afternoon. Might even be nighttime in your neck of the woods. What's happening? All right. Let's, uh, we're going to talk a little biz this time. Usually we're kind of talking about fun things, concerts, or maybe what the weather's doing worldwide. But right now, uh, this morning, uh, we're producing this, this little chit chat here on a fine Monday morning. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's just get to it. Um, if you guys are watching uh, me live on my Facebook page, uh, you guys know who I am. Uh, but what we want to do is, and if you look at the, the title of this little meeting, it's basically how to put some money in your pocket uh, by working at home or just on your computer. And if you love Facebook or social media, uh, you can be shy, you can be scared to talk to people, or you, if you just hate sales, this is something that you might want to look into. Uh, it's going to take about 20 minutes of your time. I'm just going to sit here and just kind of say hi to everybody um, on the Zoom webinar where we are worldwide right now. And I'm live through my Facebook page. I'm Corey Draper. And it's just great to see everybody this morning. Okay. All right. I got my, I got my Powerade ready to go. I'm going to talk here for about probably about up to a half hour. So if you guys are just getting up, you know, crank it up a little bit, maybe I can talk to you and answer some questions or at least give you kind of an idea of what I do. And my goal is just to help some people get out of just kind of a rut in life. It, it's very easy to get stuck in a rut. And it, it's just it's just sad. It just really sucks when you feel like you can't make any more money or maybe you just can't. Um, you know, get out of your job, or you just think, oh, God, the rest of my life is just going to be ho-hum, and it's going to suck, and I just, I just hate everything about it, so what I'd like to do is just, you know, spend the next half hour and just talk to you guys a little bit um, about what I've done over the years, and if you guys can see my screen right now, I don't know if you can or not, I'm just going to do a check real quick, I can always edit this video, I am recording, uh, but if we're live right now, hey, everyone in the chat room, what's happening on Facebook? It's always uh, great to see everybody, um, but I'm just checking my cameras, checking my uh, micro microphone. I almost said I was going to check my microwave. Maybe I should cook some pop tarts or something like that real quick. Make sure they're magically delicious, nice and soft. So let me just check my cameras real quick. It looks like I'm live right now. Hey, everyone that's uh, watching. All right. Well, let's have a little meeting. Let's have a little chit chat on this fine Monday. All right. Does that sound like a deal? Um, okay, let me just switch my screen just a little bit. Uh, okay, why don't we just go ahead and start? Um, I've got friends right now all over Asia, uh, from Thailand to Japan, believe it or not, China. I've got friends in uh, England. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Worldwide, all the way up to Canada. And I've got so many great friends all over the world. And it's not because of Facebook. It's because of the businesses that I've done over the last few years that have enabled me to meet people on a worldwide basis. And I'm a social guy. If you guys want to kind of know my background a little bit, if you're just kind of watching this for the first time, um, I had my son like one hour out of high school, you know, so I was a dad really early. I mean, real early on in life. Uh, education wasn't that important. Uh, fun, football, chasing pretty girls. I did all that crazy, uh, crazy stuff, but I didn't go to college. I didn't go to business school. I definitely didn't have a family that owned something substantial where they could grandfather me into a really successful business. And I could be just kind of on their coattails, you know, waiting for a paycheck every Friday. I've definitely had to learn almost everything in life the hard way or from the street. And I prefer it that way because all the pain and all the misery and all the bull crap that I've learned, I'm not going to repeat. Uh, if you put your hand in the fire, it's amazing how you won't put your hand in that fire again. If you lose money a certain way, you probably won't repeat that bad uh, behavior or investing or trust. 
uh, sometimes you lose a lot of money with your friends and your family and that kind of stings. It's almost nicer to lose from a scam. You know, how many times have you tried to maybe invest money online or do something and all of a sudden you just never see your money again. It's almost less painful than if you borrow it to friends and family. And then embarrassingly enough, whatever your hopes and dreams or your investment was supposed to uh, play out to doesn't. So I've learned almost everything the hard way and I wouldn't change a thing. Now, if I could win Powerball right now and put uh, 200 million in my pocket, that'd be kind of nice, but I, I'm not going to hold my breath for that. So uh, I'm in Salt Lake City. I'm from uh, born and raised in uh, Santa Barbara, California. I moved here early 80s and I've spent most of my adult life here in Salt Lake City. And I lived uh, a year or two down in California, did the movie business. I also moved to Las Vegas for nine years and I did uh, car wholesaling. Uh, I sold over five, 600 cars down there. And I had a great time. I, have, I, I don't gamble, I don't drink, I don't go crazy, but I had a great time living in Las Vegas. And I would actually you know, live there again. I have a lot of great uh, friends and actually family down there too. Uh, I've been in FM radio broadcasting a lot, off and on as well. Uh, by the time I was 20 years old, uh, I was on a fairly large rock station um, playing Metallica to Van Halen to Kiss. And over the last 30 some odd years, I went back into radio. Then I'd go to this and then I'd go to that. Uh, I got into nightclub ownership um, from Gentleman's Club. Is that, a, is that the sugar-coated way to say strip club? Uh, male and female dancing, my gosh. Uh, I produced MMA fighting. I did a lot of just a hip hop night, a top 40 night. Uh, there's, there's nothing I have not done. Uh, alternate lifestyle night. Is that politically correct? As I do my business uh, meeting here, but I love the nightclub business. It was a lot of work. It was challenging as hell, but at the end of the day, I don't know how I even have any hair left and that I'm even alive because the nightclub business really runs you right in the ground when you own it and you have your own skin in the game. So what I've learned over the years, entertainment's fun. I love jobs that are interesting and a challenge. Sure, you want to make money, but if you find something in life that you really like, isn't it amazing how you keep doing it? And I had the great David Sharp teach me this. If you smoke, it's kind of addicting and fun. You know it's bad, but you keep doing it, don't you? Or if you like going to the movies, you keep going. If you're on a fixed budget and that new Star Wars movie comes out and you know you can't afford it, you will get a credit card out. You will do whatever it takes to get money to go to that movie and spend probably 20, 30 more bucks for popcorn and a drink and everything else. So if you can find something in life that you truly love to do, I think all of us agree that you will keep doing it. And boy, isn't that nice if you could find a career or something that you like doing, you know, straight out of high school and you can build on that. Now, I do have some friends that were lucky enough to do that. And they're very successful because their jobs have never been one to go, God, I've got to get up in the morning. I hate my cubicle. I don't like my boss. I don't even like my coworkers. I have nothing in common with them, but I have to pretend. I have to fake my relationships from nine in the morning till six at night, drive home for an hour on the freeway, just so I can get home by seven o'clock to watch, in my case, Dancing with the Stars or maybe Bachelor in Paradise, because I love those shows, even if I'm already at home. But a lot of times you can't wait for the weekend. You know, God, it's Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. And then by Sunday, when you go to bed, have you ever been just like completely just a disaster? You, you feel like you almost are depressed, even though you just had the best barbecue, your friends, your family, you played volleyball, you went swimming, or maybe you just did chores on that Sunday. And when the sun was setting, life was all good. And then all of a sudden, mentally, you went into a funk because you know that Monday morning means, oh, God, I got to go to work. Even if you kind of like who you work with and even if you kind of like your job, sometimes when you do the same things too long in life, um, you just really feel like you're missing out on things. And that's easy to do. I think we've all worked and done things that we just don't want to do. But it's pretty good to have money, isn't it? Paying your bills paying your cell phone, feeding your kids, buying $5 tank tops. Uh, oh my God. 
it's amazing that every 30 days your bills are due. Sometimes you're lucky. Maybe they're not due for a couple months, but I think most of us have bills due just about every week. They're just staggered. So over the years, uh, I've enjoyed working, to be honest. I've never thought about retiring, not even once in my life. I do like to maybe catch up on sleep or maybe go work on my tan somewhere in Fiji. But I've always enjoyed working uh, because it makes me feel valuable and somehow important. Uh, I've always kind of felt bad that when you go, and I learned this at an early age because I did construction right out of high school because it's the only thing that could pay the bills. And plus my wife of like two and a half hours, her dad was a big electrician and he was really connected in the construction biz. So boy, I just went and bought me a brand new hammer and a couple nails. And man, I was just hammering and doing all kinds of cool stuff. But I learned at an early age, like, man, this really isn't for me. Uh, it's kind of sad that I got to get up at five in the morning to be on the job at six. And man, I'm talking in the winter time as well. I froze my butt off and I was okay at construction. I, I think I would have been a good foreman, general contractor, electrician, or just the guy just playing drums on nail heads with dual hammers. But it just wasn't me. I wanted to entertain. I wanted to kind of show off a little bit. I just wanted to get attention and radio and entertainment business. That was my calling. But you know what the pay is in the entertainment business and in radio and in movies? It's kind of inconsistent. Even directors, light techs, uh, transportation coordinators, you know, when it comes to jobs, sometimes you just don't know. You have no idea when you're going to get laid off or fired or downsized or maybe get a big fat paycheck. But I've always enjoyed owning my own business, even if I lost money or failed, at least I had some form of control, such as gambling. Some people like the one arm bandit where you just put some money in and you just go like this and you feel like, you know what, I, if I won, great. If not, you know what, it's rigged anyway. But most people, when they gamble, I think they like blackjack because they have a form of control. Even if they lose their asses, they still feel like, well, you know what, I have a little bit of control. Uh, and you can lose, lose a lot in blackjack or the one I, uh, one arm bandits. My nine years in Las Vegas, almost everyone I knew lost money, although everyone claims to have a, a secret or a trick. But I always found comfort by at least owning my own business, even if I work full time for FM radio or my nightclubs, or I've done a lot of other things too, uh, car wholesales, and also the trucking biz too. I, I, I can drive semi trucks, I can deliver to point A to point B, and I actually find it relaxing to kind of go all over the country uh, but that's a tough job too, mentally and physically, uh, let alone your health on your back, bad nutrition, bad sleep. There's so many bad things out there, but we all have to pay our bills or we have to make money. And if you can somehow come up with a way to make extra money on your own budget from home or on a computer, I think that's always been one of the biggest searched phrases since the internet probably came to us what around mid 90s 1995 is that when all those america online discs kept coming yeah you know, everybody boy they just had those discs but the first thing people popped up were like god i wonder if we can make money somehow and you know what right now as i'm sitting here speaking live in salt lake city i'm sure that one of the most common searched phrases on google or whatever search engine is your preference is how can I make extra money going into winter? How can I make money at home? How can I do this? How can I do that with freedom, but probably by working at home on a computer? I've spent probably about 20 grand over the last 10 years studying all forms of ways and means and products from MLM right down to just selling like a tumbleweed dipped in chocolate but I've always been fascinated on how some people can make money online and it might even be a fad. They might just go, Hey, you know what? Here's this shiny ball syndrome. We've all heard this phrase probably. And that's where, when you study something, it looks really good. You can't wait to buy it. And within a month, you're probably going to give up on it and just go, well, I did the best I could. Kinda. It's like buying a pool table. You play the hell out of that pool table. And all of a sudden you, you start folding 
and creating Christmas presents on the pool table. We've all bought the gym. We have those treadmills. My God, how many miles did we run on that treadmill? Three miles before it started collecting dust. <laughs> Some of my friends actually run five miles a day on it. I bought like a thousand dollar treadmill and you know what it did? It sat in the corner of my drum set room and it started getting dust. And then I was like one of those guys going, dang it, why does it always start out so good? And we, we kind of lose interest in certain things along the way. And that's because it's just not interesting or fun. Such as you have a beer, you're gonna have another one. If you smoke a cigarette, darn it, you're gonna have another one. If you love social media like Facebook, I love Facebooking. I'm not really a Twitter guy or an Instagram guy, but I enjoy social media. I love computers. I'm addicted to my cell phone just as much as anybody. But I do love to sell things if I believe in the product or the service. All right, now, you guys have probably seen a million things like how to sell on Amazon. And it's, it's not easy, but with a little bit of effort, you can find out how to open up your own Amazon account and sell something like, let's say, uh, a widget or maybe these things, these little rubber hair ties that I should probably have in my hair right now. So I look like a horse, <laughs> a little horsey. But, you know, a lot of things can be sold online. Amazon is killing it. They destroyed just about everybody from Shopco. I don't even know how Walmart's uh, hanging in there, but Walmart, Target, they're doing a good job holding it, uh, hanging in there. But boy, Amazon is just killing it. Uh, when it comes to information, uh, YouTube is uh, always the top uh, search engine. And it's mostly for information. Even if you're looking for music, it's like, how can I find the new Taylor Swift song? How can I find the new this or that. How do I fold? How do I do a tie? I was at my buddy's wedding a year or two ago in Cabo San Lucas. And you know what? I'm 53 years old in a month or so. I don't know how to fold a tie or, you know, what you do, you go to YouTube, how to do a tie. There's 7,000 demonstrations. Usually you just do like the first page worth. You go like this, you flip it, you go like this, 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 and you make sure that it goes down to your belly button or lower. You don't want it super high or you look kind of like one of those, uh, I think they're called geeks. But there's so much information out there and a lot of it is free and it's awesome. But when you can get access to information by people that have actually made money creating interest, maybe they have created a product or they've made millions of dollars. I'm fascinated with people that are creative, they can invent something, they follow through in life, even in failure, and they're like this. They can lose everything and still they remain pretty consistent on their emotions and they're positive going, you know what? I failed, I'll come back and I'll try it again. Everybody knows the light bulb story. How many times did Edison and uh, Tesla, did those cats just completely just butt heads uh, I think I read like somewhere like five, 10,000 times before they get, get that darn light bulb and ACDC and all that other stuff uh, to work. Thank God they did. And when it comes to information, sometimes when you buy information, it just is more valuable because the people that write it have probably done it. Now, when you go to college, like I live in Utah, you've got the University of Utah, you have BYU. There's plenty of high schools and, and elementary schools, and there's colleges, community colleges. There's a lot of information out there. If you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, or anything that's really a specialty item, you know, you're probably going to have to go to college and you're going to have to slice out, you know, one to 200 grand and probably up to five to eight years of your life to make sure that you kick ass in whatever you want to be. And that doesn't mean that you're going to make uh, any paycheck or be successful. Even lawyers, man, a lot of people try to do the bar and they can't pass it. A lot of people start out, they want to be surgeons. They can't remove brains and fix nerves and neons, but they're good at maybe being a pharmacist or something else. But, but if you can purchase information online from the comfort of your own home or laptop, or like me, I like to put bunny slippers on and sit in my chair 
and read and blow up the font so I can read it even easier, uh, like on a big screen, like I'm uh, talking to you right now. I think that that is really effective on learning because if you watch videos and you can read at your home, as long as you're not distracted and have your kids or maybe Facebook or your phone or texting, because I'm just addicted as anybody. I'm, I'm completely just A, D, 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 F, G, O, C, D. I, I have the whole alphabet inside my brain and I know how to distract myself like no business. I know how to kill time by watching YouTube and then pretend that I have something important to do and just completely get distracted. That's the hardest part by working at home and learning at home. But if you're able to focus and if it's kind of done in a fun way and an entertaining way, and it's done in ways that are kind of stupid, simple, kiss, you know, it's not rock and roll all night party every day. It's keep it simple, stupid. Now, stupid's a bad word, but you know what? That phrase has been around way before my old ass. But if you're able to learn things in baby steps that are somewhat simple, and if it is in video form, or you can just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it 50 times. That's the beauty of digital products that are educational or they teach you how to do something when you can just sit at your own home on your laptop or your big screen and there's just nothing better than going back and forth. Watch that darn thing 500 times if you have to. What I do is I have three uh, screens in front of me. And what I like to do is just, I put like the tutorial in the middle, or I'm sorry, the tutorial is usually on the side of me or over here. And then I put the screen up what I'm trying to achieve. And I just kind of like, you know, copy paste and go along at my own leisure. I really love to learn that way. I love when it's entertaining. I love when the people teaching me are verified. They've lost money and they've made money. I have no problem learning from someone that has lost their asses or they've lost millions, but they had the guts, they had the cojones to try to own a business or to be who they want to be and not live a life of ho-hum because that's my biggest fear. No one wants to die. No one wants to like, you know, go, oh my God, I'm going to freak out. I hope I don't lose everything and I'm homeless underneath, uh, you know, the, the viaduct with a van by the river, like the great Chris Farley. But I've always lived my life where if I have a little bit of a budget or if I have time and if I have an idea, I really want to follow through on whatever that is. It could be a place to travel. It could be a business. I've tried the nightclub business. I've owned four of them. They've all made money and lost money. All right. I've been in radio more times than I can count. It's been like this. Um, in the semi-truck business, it's very consistent. It's hard work. But there's always going to be a need from an iPhone to get to point A to point B or vegetables or products for Walmart or even Amazon. So when you get to a business like trucking, there's a little more consistency and a little bit of security. But is it really me? No. But if I really need a solid paycheck and I want to see the country, I can fall back on that. But with my personality, I don't mind risking my time and a little bit of money or maybe it's a lot of money, but it all depends on what you want to be and what you want to do with the rest of our lives. Cause all of the say, you know, we can't get back our time. You guys have heard all the motivational stuff and probably watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos with Grant Cardone and Tony and oh my God, that and Gary V. I even drove Gary V. You guys know uh, Gary Vaynerchuk? Boy, who doesn't know the high energy of Gary? And it's addicting and it's fun. But at the end of the day, I still prefer to just sit back and relax a little bit and decide what I want to do and what education I want and what budget I have to maybe make money online. Or do I just need eyeballs to come to a website of my pizza place? Maybe I just want likes and friends on my Instagram account because it makes me feel bad if I post all the time and nobody, just nobody answers or likes there's algorithms on facebook instagram and it causes a lot of depression it causes a lot of people to be bummed out because i just read the other day where instagram and facebook are considering getting rid of the like button because it's causing so much depression by people 
counting their likes. And I'm the same way. Like I said, I'm, I'm a guy, I'm practicing what I'm preaching. And when I do my videos with you guys from a business aspect, like I am right now, I've, I've learned the hard way. I've went through the emotional roller coaster of posting or trying to do something online and it just doesn't work. Uh, and like I said, there's plenty of courses out there and plenty of ways to sell a product either on your website or maybe through Amazon. You guys know what I'm talking about because it's very addicting to buy online. I can't stress enough where please don't buy into the bull crap that there's just not a lot of money or it's saturated or, oh, the economy. Man, I watched the, the debates and they said, oh boy, the forecast is gonna be really bad and oh, we're a trillions in debt. Who gives a rat's ass? Name one time as you guys sit here watching me live or maybe on the repeat of my video that when the government spent $700 on a toilet seat or they spent a million dollars every time those stupid jets fly all over the place or they go to Camp David to relax, millions to billions have been spent on things that I don't really want to know because I'll even get more pissed off because I've been kind of like a, a single guy that's been in a tax bracket that's fairly high for a lot of years. But when you hear the news and everything else and the economy's crashing and they have all this crap, does it really, really change that your rent is due probably on the first, your cell phone's bill done on the fifth? If you're married with kids, does your kids give a crap? No, you need a little bit of money, all right? Or you need a lot of money. It all depends. Everyone's life is different. Everybody starts out with, uh, with a pretty level service. And when we get momentum, it's like, I need three cars. I need a boat. I need a chopper. I need a Harley Davidson. Or if you have a big family, you might want four. I live in Utah. You know, the average married couple here is barely out of high school. And they go on to have three to five to 10 kids. I mean, this is a very family-oriented state. So I'm used to seeing a lot of kids at an early age here in Utah. Thank God there's a million jobs here. The economy's kicking ass. But if I keep watching the news, I'm going to jump off a bridge. I'm going to think left, right. Oh my God, no one has money. And it's bull crap. People have SUVs. People have forty to $70,000 cars everywhere. Disney World is almost sold out every day it's open. And do you realize it's a hundred bucks a theme park? And then what, there's four or five there? If you tried to price just going to Disneyland, just in Anaheim, and California Adventure, and then stay in the hotels, and then take the trams, and forget about it. By the time you buy a $20 piece of pizza and a $75 hat with Mickey ears that your kids usually put up in the corner of their bedroom and it gets dust, but for some reason you keep that Mickey Mouse hat for like 26 years, and it's made out of crappy paper, <laughs> but usually it's so, it's so dusty that it's like disgusting. But isn't it crazy how the movie business is doing billions a year. Disney World is open and it is massive. It is 20 square miles. I went to Disney World a few months ago. I went to Epcot Center and I almost threw my ass. I was so tired and exhausted. I just took an Uber back to my, back to rest. God, I didn't realize how big that place was. And guess how many people were there? I can't even count how many. But if they were all on a budget and lived their life according to what the news or what a neighbor's neighbor's milkman's maid said, all of us would probably just kind of clam up and we'd start saving our money and go, God, we better start saving for a rainy day. Guess how many people honestly really do that? Almost none of my friends, everyone I know, if their bills are $4,200 a month, that's about what they make per month. Everybody has credit card debt. Everybody needs money. And even if someone is on a budget, they're still irresponsible and buy stuff. I, I'm just from the firm belief that there is plenty of money out there as long as something is interesting or you need a product like a toilet plunger. If your toilet clogs, you bet your ass within an hour or two, especially if you have kids and families, you're going to somehow come up with enough money or at least borrow something to get that darn plunger. All right. And isn't it amazing how if you're smoking, you have money for those darn cigarettes. I, I wish everyone had quit, but I'm, I'm a realist. I know that half America smokes, half the planet smokes, actually. And a lot of people love that beer. It's football season, guys. You know how much ice cold beer is being drank right now? Wow, Budweiser, 
Corona, forget it. It's billions of gallons all turned to PP in the next uh, three, four months. So my opinion is that when you hear all this stuff that, oh, you know, just everyone, you know, there's no money, blah, blah, blah. Just please don't buy into that. I don't believe that at all. If you have something interesting and you can search around and it looks like it's sellable or, or desirable, you will sell it. It's better. And you've heard this phrase before, probably it's better to jump in front of something that's already selling than to come up with your own invention and whatnot. Now, thank God people do do inventions, you know, like the internet, like the hot wheel. I think I got hot wheels in back of me or God, how, how, you know, God bless, you know, Steve jobs and whoever got this darn, these darn uh, cell phones going. I, this is a Samsung, but still Steve jobs. What a, what a great guy. Rest in peace, Steve. But I am my age, to be honest, I'm almost 53. I don't want to recreate the wheel. I don't want to invent the wheel. I want to see something that's already kind of churning. You know, it's kind of going downhill. And you know what? It, it, it's all good. That road downhill is 55,000 miles long, and it's just consistent the whole way down. It's all smooth. There's no bumps, no ruts. Man, there's just... It's just awesome. So I would rather step in front of something that's already selling because I think there's a better chance of, of getting a little piece of that yourself. And it comes down to consistency. And it really comes down to if you believe in whatever you're going to sell or whatever you're going to try to do. Okay. Because most of us have tried to do a lot of things and we just didn't follow through or we failed and we're depressed. We feel like crap. Uh, we care a lot about what our friends and family think of us. If we try something, there's always that one guy that goes, hey, I told you, man, God, duh, man, you lost two grand, duh, hell, I could have told you that. But in the meantime, he plays it safe. You know, if he wants to work nine to five his whole life, good for him or her. But if, if you think you're stuck in a rut and you live in a small town, or if you live in the biggest city in the world and outside your window is just billions and billions of dollars just going back and forth like in Manhattan, um, wouldn't it be nice if you could maybe do something that you like, okay, and you enjoy doing, and you can maybe monetize it as well. Now, the reason I'm bringing it up is because I think most people that are watching me right now, if, if this is live right now in Utah, it's like 530. Uh, I love getting up early. Um, because number one, Howard Stern is a big fan, is, my, is one of my fans, or I'm one of his fans, and I like to get up early and listen to his broadcasts and stuff, but also uh, when you have businesses all over the world, you know, it's just amazing that, you know, when you're up at three in the morning, it's already five at night, you know, in Thailand, but I think that if you guys are watching me live right now, you guys have a cell phone, you guys probably love Facebook or social media, and you guys could probably use some money, okay? Could mean just a few hundred bucks a month. It could mean thousands. Maybe you want to be, which is kind of a either an influencer or somebody that helps or teaches someone to do something. That's what I really like. I never thought over the years that I would like to spend time and actually teach people and help them either with depression or maybe how to make money or how to change a tire. But man, it really feels good if you can kind of help people. And, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So my case in point is, is if you have a computer, you like Facebook, sure you get pissed off at social media, you love and hate it, who doesn't? But, and it's kind of addicting. But if you can Facebook every day, if you got a little bit of money, Maybe you're married and your husband or wife is, is making money and you're at home raising kids. Maybe you're on disability, a fixed income, or maybe you got a couple bucks and only you guys know what your budget is because everybody usually comes up with a little bit of money to go boating, hiking, fishing. Maybe you need a new car and you need five grand down. Like I said, only you know what your budget is. And I will never say do this or you're not going to get that. When I present something, and I've been doing online business in the background a long time. Most people, if you're watching me on Facebook, I screw off a lot. I, I do a lot of rock and roll, and, and, uh, and I, I'm real real, by the way, too. I'm not some paid actor, that's for sure. 
And if I have a good day or a bad day, I'm going to let you guys know about it. If I ever do a business and it goes sour, or if I know the owners are cheesy, or if I know something's going bad, I'll be the first one on my feed to go, you know what, the, the company, it's just, you know, the product's not there, or it looks like there's a lot of time and energy into this business. It looks like we should probably like let off the gas, don't hit the brakes yet, but I'll be the first person to be on my video to say, hey, this looks like it's probably not going to work out for whatever reasons. Uh, but if I see success in something and I believe in it, and I've had the same cell phone number almost 20 years, I'm all over Facebook, I, I'm so easy to get a hold of, uh, I would never embarrass myself or embarrass you guys knowing that I can run into you guys on the street or maybe in Vegas at a convention or maybe at Disney World. I'll be, I'll be there you know, laying on the ground going, God, I'll never come here again, you know, going to sleep after the Epcot Center. But I would never present something if I didn't believe in it because I know that I just feel like I'm full of crap. I'm wasting a month or two of my life trying to, you know, trying to come up with something, you know, something to say to see if I can make 10 grand or something, or maybe a million dollars. And then the business all goes away. And then I'm, you know, just back to, back to reality. Um, I don't like to do that. I, I'm never going away off social media. I'll always be here. Long as I, you know, I plan on having a heart attack, probably live on camera as I sit here uh, at uh, 530 in the morning right now, uh, as I speak to you. But I'm going to just tell you about something that's working for people that I admire, a uh, couple hundred grand worth in a couple months. And your effort is not going to be what my effort is or, you, or even what their effort is. Their budget's different. My budget's different. Your budget's different. But all I can say is that when I study a business and there's a support team and there's an infrastructure, I hammer it hard. From my radio experience, I know how to be a pain in the ass. And if I want something, I won't even go to sleep for two years because I just need information. I need this. I need it now so I can move on and get out of your guys's hair so I can get on with my fried hair. That's what I've done to this company over the last two months. I joined it a couple months and I've, I've put my foot not on the brake or not on the gas. I sound like a Sammy Hagar uh, song. But I just joined just to kind of see what other leaders around the United States and the world are doing and to see if the company can, you know, withhold the growth because there's two companies I've been studying that can't. And I have no intentions of doing anything with them at this point because I think they can't handle the growth in a good, long, consistent relationship just with me. I don't care about you know, about the rest of the world that much when it comes down to my time. Uh, because that's by far the most important, wouldn't you agree? So what I want to show you, and I'll make it in stupid, simple form. And, and to make it easy, uh, I own a company called Freedom Baby Yeah. I'm a big fan of Mike Myers. I'm a big fan of Aston Powers. I love Goldfinger. I love, I love it. I love mini me. I got to uh, meet Vern Troyer. So I thought freedom baby. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? So I bought freedom baby. Yeah.com. If you guys want to go to that video or get, just type it in, it's a 20 minute video. It kind of gives you a little bit, you know, it takes your shoes off and says, put your feet in the water a little bit, wiggle it around. Is the water cold? Is it hot? Is it room temperature? See if you want to go up to your knees. See if you want to get in the waist uh, level or down the road. And I mean baby steps. I don't want anyone to do business with me unless they're 100% sure that it's comfortable and it makes sense. All right? Because if I'm holding you with this arm, I'm my upline, my person that got me interested. She, it's a woman, actually. She's got my arm just like I got your arm because I love support. And on top of that, I like to have friends. I'm very social. I don't need to do this business. I love to meet people and I love it worldwide. I've maxed out a lot here in Salt Lake City where I live. I know a lot in Vegas and I know a lot in Santa Barbara where I'm from. But man, I love it when I meet people worldwide. It is very social, this business that I'm gonna to talk to you about. 
And uh, this is just kind of a video in the morning where I'm just talking a little bit. This is mostly for my European and Asian uh, peeps right now, because right now it's about seven o'clock at night. And if you're in the United States, good morning. I know it's pretty early. I'm rambling a little bit here, but what I'm going to do is kind of do like a reality type show. And it's not really scripted because you know that most of it is. But I just want to show you a realistic approach of what I do to make this endeavor, this business that can put some money in your pocket. It can also give you leads, likes. It can put eyeballs on things. It's education. But in my case, the two top things I like about this business, and I'm not kidding you, is the social aspect. Because at my age now, when you get older, you have less friends. People start dying. People get married and then they get all bitter and they just stay at home all day and they don't want to do nothing except watch sports. And then the wives are like, God, my husband's boring. <laughs> she wants to get out and do stuff. <clears throat> so social, a social life is very important to me. And of course, making money. So if you can make money and have a little bit of social life and meet new people that are educated or interesting, or maybe they can help you or teach you something, the storytelling is awesome. I have friends that have come back from the dead. I have friends that are so poor that they had dirt, dirt floors. This is mostly Asian countries, obviously, to where they have a great life right now. And they can like take care of their whole families. Uh, I have one friend that almost died by drowning. I have, oh, my, and, and you're going to, you're going to meet her sweetest lady in the world. She weighed well over 300 and something pounds. She lost a hundred and something pounds and she feels energized. She's awesome. And guess what? In two months, she's hit 200 and something thousand dollars. And I don't want anybody to say that they, oh man, you know, God, just somebody probably had a list or somebody had a friend of a friend that borrowed a money to do this and blah, blah, blah. The business that I'm going to show you guys over the next week takes away the biggest pain in the ass and the biggest mistake that happens when it comes to online business and when it comes to selling of something. That is actually trying to get on the phone or email or contact someone that might be interested. Okay, I'm not shy. I, I, if, I, if I had 20 people right now that wanted to talk to me, I love it because I'm social. I know that 90% of people are not. They're not looking for a business. They're looking for extra money. And if that money comes in, it changes their life. They feel better about themselves. They feel happier. They can treat people to this. They can fix their teeth. They can get a better cell phone. They can maybe upgrade from an apartment to a badass house where they can crank music at night, not have to worry about the neighbors sharing a wall. Um, there's so many great things that can happen from this business. And I spend a lot of time trying to find the ideal business that anybody can do that is an introvert, shy, scared, no education, live anywhere, except for the obvious fact that you guys have a computer and Facebook and probably a little bit of extra money, okay? Because to own a business, you know, if you want a free business, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe go outside of McDonald's and, and I don't know, maybe you can hand out cards and get a commission or something. Or, you know, there's plenty of businesses out there that I guess that you can start with no money, no skin in the game. And if that's for you, great. You're not even going to listen to me or watch my series over the next hundred years. I have no plans on not showing what I do with this business. Because even if this business doesn't work out, I have other businesses that I do. I, I, I never want one form or one stream of income. That is scary. I've been let go. I've been fired. I've had businesses go under. The worst thing in the world is to have one income and then it's taken away. I'd say 90% of us have one income and that's totally understandable. 
That is just the way it is. But how nice is it if you even got a couple hundred bucks coming in a month? And maybe if you can sell something once a week or twice a week, it might even equate to about, you know, up to four to five grand. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just get into what the business is a little bit. And like I said, there's no sales on your part. I don't want anyone doing this business and messing it up because the company are experts at the sales end. There's live people. These people are on Facebook. They've got gorgeous wives, hunky husbands. They've got kids. They have two locations in Florida. They are real. They will text. They will email. They do all the customer support. When it comes down to questions about what this business is, I don't even want you guys to think twice about picking up the phone or getting on Facebook. You're just going to simply go like this. You know what? Here's the 800 number. Here's the support number. Go ahead and give them a call. Because what I did is I pretended not to be myself. I was 14 other people. And over the last month or so, I've been calling randomly and doing this, trying to change my voice, but there's only so many, so many things. You know, I'm not like a, one of those great guys on Saturday Night Live. Is it uh, uh, Hammond, Daryl Hammond? I wish I could change my voice, but I wanted to test this company just to see if the customer service was there, just to see if the salesmen were there. And I come up with questions that are obnoxious. And through my radio career, I know how to make people want to punch me in the face. But I have never met a nicer sales team and coaches than this company, period. And I've been doing this clear back. I grew up with the ownership of New Skin International in the early 80s. You know, this company does $5 billion a year, and I still don't do it. And I was there in the beginning. I'd probably be a billionaire right now, but I don't like sales. I'm not selling shampoo, conditioners. I'm not selling whatever I'm buying. I don't even want to buy what I sell. I don't even care. I want to have a social life and I want to have some money so that I can somehow live happily ever after, okay? So when it comes to a business like this, please, don't mess it up by thinking that you have to close or you have to sell anything. What you're going to do is just focus on getting eyeballs to a particular website. In my case, I own 91 websites. The one that I'm going to focus on right now live is freedombabyyeah.com. Yeah is Y-E-A-H. Yeah with an H. Um, and I'm sure people will mess it up. They'll, they'll not spell freedom or baby or I don't know, but I just love the phrase and I love the name. Uh, Austin Powers, man, that's, I hope they make part four so bad. Freedombabyyeah.com. What I do to the best of my budget or free through social media and other ways that I'm going to tell you guys about, and you guys are also going to learn about by just watching certain videos and stuff, is how to get eyeballs just on a website and that's it you're not going to beg you're not going to negotiate you're going to let people decide what level of education they want to buy you're not even going to tell them anything you're just going to get eyeballs on the website D don't even worry about who they are until after they've watched the video and put their name and phone number in because then the company will do their best to close why 50-50. I like 50-50, okay? Because it's not 30, it's not 70, it's not 90, it's not 10, okay? 50-50. If the company has the infrastructure, the websites, a massive payroll because of live human beings, I want those guys paid the same as me. Because if I know that I'm going to get a dollar ripped in half, if I get 50 cents and they get 50 cents, I'm going to bust ass because then I'm not jealous. I don't think I'm doing all the work because that will eat you up in life. You guys don't, don't think that anything is for free in life. You guys just know it's not because the people that are going to work on your end are going to bust ass for you because they get 50%.
just like you get the other 50. Um, if you're shy, if you're scared, if you're nervous, if you just hate sales, I've sold 600 cars in Las Vegas from 06 to 2013. I only liked probably 100 of them because the other tried to knock me down, say this and that, and oh my God, you meet the most rotten people sometimes. Even at Walmart, there's angry people. Uh, there's probably people that complain winning the lottery. God, I got to pay 100 million on my 400 million. I mean, people, they just tend to really want you to go like this to them. And I get it. But in this business that I'm going to show you, there's really no contact unless you want to, because you will have their name, you will have their email address, you will eventually get the, the proper contact info. And it's up to you if you want to. But if you just want to be on your own, you've got your kids, you love movies, you go hiking, you just want to focus on just getting the eyeballs to one website. Because once they go on the website, there's going to be autoresponders and there's going to be certain processes to where they're contacted by humans, human beings, emails, and texts. Okay, they're properly written. They're produced. They've already generated a lot of money. I'm not going to say who my friends are, but if you do go ahead and join this opportunity, you'll find out who they are soon enough. But there's been hundreds of thousands of dollars made just in the last two months. Uh, a lady that's going to be joining me, you're going to get to know her. I can't wait. I love her to death. She's on my Facebook page regularly and I'm on hers. Her son even has uh, software that he and his buddy invented that has absolutely woke up my algorithm on Facebook. Now I Facebook about 15 to 20 times a day. I'll be honest, half the time it's business because if you don't post a lot, likes, inbox messages, video, and just plain old posting like, good boy, it's hot today, your algorithm goes to poop. If you have a thousand people, only 27 people are seeing it eventually. If you have 5,000, which I max out pretty easily, um, I know that there's probably only 475 out of that 5,000, but I can lead you onto software that will get rid of all your dead links on your Facebook page in one click. I did it a month ago just to check, just to see. It wiped out about 2,700 dead average accounts because this software can see if they're posting, if they're even, you know, but if they're not even on Facebook at all, how would you even know, first of all, unless you went through every single one? This software goes, what's their algorithm? Are they posting? Are they dead? Are they mute? What's going on? You know, half of them are probably from Guyana or Nigeria. That's most of the scam companies I get on a daily basis. But this software alone in one click can wipe out all of that trash. And you know what happened to my algorithms? Because I have software that, that checks all my stuff. It, 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 it went a thousand percent higher, not 10, not a hundred, not 14. Oh my God, hundreds and hundreds. I get over 10,000 unique views per week right now for free. And I'm not even doing business yet. I'm just doing videos of, uh, you know, the things that have happened in my personal life, uh, you know, concerts. Uh, Rick Ocasek passed away of the cars and Eddie Money. I love to post about that because I like to. I do it because I enjoy it. How cool is it if you can do a business that is just basically comes down to posting and liking. And if you have a couple extra bucks, don't go piss it away on cigarettes and beer. Don't go blow 50 bucks at the movies. Just don't go for the month. Who gives a rat's ass? It's probably at Redbox anyway in a couple months or probably bootlegged uh, from some place in China if you, you look hard enough. But the business that I do, it does cost some bucks. It's affordable if you want a business. We're not talking a million dollars. You're gonna decide on the budget that you have. And if you want some extra money and you think you can do this, then you sit down, you go to bed at night and go, you know what? I think I can do this because number one, I don't have to contact anyone. I don't have to sell nothing. I don't have to build websites and do all this stuff because remember this, and I'm an expert at this. I've spent well over 20 grand on every, I buy every shiny ball. 
Um, and that sounds pretty bad how I phrased it, but if there's a business opportunity, I love to look into it. I, I love business online. It's fascinating, isn't it? But if you look at this opportunity and you really believe that you can do it just because it's entertaining and it's stupid simple and it's a product you don't have to have in your garage, it's not MLM. I could have done new skin. I was right there in the beginning. I still didn't do it. I am not selling shampoo to his friend and this friend. And then, well, MLMs, you have to fake stage. And what I mean by that is you have to buy like $2,000 of your own product because your commission's 3,000. And then you gotta have all these levels. And I'm not an MLM guy. I would never, ever, ever embarrass myself and try to have anyone in an MLM because I know that 99% don't follow through. And it's just not me anyway. I'm 53. I don't have time to build momentum and learn all this stuff and get 1% of 100 person's efforts. I've heard every course I've been to Tony Robbins. I've actually almost ran over Tony Robbins a year, a uh, long time ago in my Corvette. Um, I love to pay for education. I love buying stuff online. I love Facebook. I love the social aspect of it. And I love making money as well. I've made a lot of money and lost a lot of money online. I'm just being honest. Anyone that just makes money all the time, you're rare. You might, your ego might not, not let you be honest. Or maybe your wife's like, you better not buy another shiny ball business opportunity or you're in trouble. Or maybe the wife is doing it while the husband's at work, but you guys know, know, you know uh, what your situation is. But I'm a big believer that if you do a business that doesn't really seem like a business and there's some turnkey modes in place, you don't talk to anyone, you're not ever selling anything. If you try to, you're gonna mess it up. You're gonna embarrass yourself and be mad at yourself and just punch yourself going, why am I trying to screw up this perfectly choreographed orchestra? All you need to do is just simply get people to a website. It's called a capture page. Corey Draper, uh, purerockradio at gmail.com. That's all it is. Then everything takes place from there. The company contacts them. Personal message through the old mouth. Text, boom, and a phone call and an email. And they do it in a nice way. It's not obtrusive. It's not spam because people are requesting it. Some people get mad because they're not called right away. It'll be like nine o'clock at night and they'll be so excited. They'll be like, well, God, I wish, man, I wish people would um, contact me and let me know what's going on. I've already got 1,500 people interested, just emails. And guess how many I've contacted? None, because I'm gonna start it live, right as you guys see me, tired as hell, because I didn't go to bed last night because I was up uh, doing some other business in Europe. But I'm gonna show you how I get leads okay through social media facebook instagram who you know uh postcards and of course they're called solo ads and what that is is where you give a couple bucks to a very prestigious company that has millions of websites out there and what they do is they find people that fill out a form that says i would like information of this and they're people that have bought online before, which I prefer. They're not like just tire kickers. These are people that are looking for a better way or a business or a way to promote something. But it's up to them what they want to buy because we have stuff to sell. It's as crazy as us going, hey, you know what? Um, I'm at the door of Walmart and you're asking everybody, hey, what are you here for? Oh, I'm here to buy a BMX bike. No. You're gonna buy carrots and you're gonna buy screwdrivers. Don't, don't step in the way. Let people properly request information. Let them sit back just like you guys are now. Go to the capture page and let them just sit back and see what information they wanna buy because you're getting 50% of that. It's like you own 50% of the U of U, Notre Dame, UCLA, Harvard, Yale, 
you guys know how education goes. It's expensive. And people that do this business, they want to buy the information because information that is purchased is usually better. There's a lot of free that's also kick ass. I'm not going to deny that either. YouTube probably has so much information. It would take 700 years just to probably study 1% that's on YouTube right now, just on how to grow carrots. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, I'm going to present a couple things on my screen. Okay. I just wanted my first video just to kind of see how everyone's doing, what's happening on Facebook. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. And over the next uh, week or two, I'm going to just do, just kind of do live video. I'm going to have guests that have been there and done that. They're making about 10 to 20 grand per week. And it's realistic. None of them, none of them uh, have uh, Harvard this or grandfathered into that. Most of them were so desperate that they had no choice except to get off their asses and take action because they were gonna die for health reasons or they were just going broke to where they wanted to absolutely end their life. That's how rock bottom some of my friends got. And sometimes that's what it takes to realize, damn it, we can do anything in life. We really can, you know, but you know, the drummer of Def Leppard, his arm got ripped off in a Corvette and he's there beating the crap out of those drums with his feet and his, and his arm. And there's people that are blind. Charles and uh, God, Stevie Wonder, uh, just singing. Uh, Ronnie Millsap, who's in concert here in a few weeks. I mean, I could go on and on about excuses. Uh, please don't let yourself get into that rut. Because if you're watching me now, at least you have a computer or a cell phone, you're on social media, and you're healthy enough to be up at 555 in the morning. That's all you need. Because everything that I that I do with this particular business, just just requires you to sit back, listen, eavesdrop, sit in the back and kind of see what's going on. If it takes you months to decide, takes you months to decide. If you never want to do it, it doesn't matter. If you're watching this right now, you're probably somehow a friend of mine that I've met in person or maybe just through Facebook, you know. But right now, like I said, this, this live feed is mostly for all my European connections. Um, and I've never met most of you guys over there. It's just so exciting when I get Thailand's and, and, and all those great countries that are nine hours ahead and my buddies in Asia that are 14 hours ahead. Um, I'll be doing another video later today that's more appropriate for all my American friends. Because right now when it's six in the morning, most people are getting up and, and they're hating their job and they're pissed off. They don't want to go to work. And if you do, good for you. But like I said, this type of business is simply getting eyeballs to a particular web page. What you're going to do is you're going to go to like a GoDaddy and you're going to spend like maybe up to 20 bucks there. And you're just going to buy a domain name like freedombabyyad.com. That's all I did. And then I'm going to show you guys how to go in, click a button, the DNS. You're going to fill out a little line that you cut and paste. And within uh, five seconds or a couple minutes or so, it's called propagation. Uh, when people go to like freedombabyyad.com, it's going to go to your own personal website. Okay. This type of business has been around forever in the internet. Basically, it's a beautiful web page with a lot of information and it's all 100%. If anything's purchased, it goes to you, all right? Um, 50%. And I'll explain the pay and, and what that entails so that if you're money motivated by doing this, then you can get excited and go, you know what? Even if I got one sell at the minimum, per week, just one a week, it's gonna put a couple grand in your pocket. And the hard part is you gotta pay tax on it because you're gonna get just, um, you're, if, you're, if your commission's 500, you get 500 bucks. The hard part is going, damn, at the end of the year, I don't wanna have to like, you know, come up with tax, but it's very realistic to where you can make some really nice money. And I don't mean, this isn't like affiliate marketing where you gotta, you get $10, uh, you get $40. The minimum commission with this business is 500 bucks. 
okay? That's what I'm starting at. I'm gonna do the minimum and I, and I plan on going all the way in and buying, buying uh, certain information because obviously the more money that you invest, you're gonna make more money in return. And I'll explain that in just a few minutes. But I just want the first of my video here just to explain, please don't think there's really any selling involved because if you try to get in the way of it, you're gonna mess it up. The coaches are awesome. They've been doing it well over 20 years. It's a great company. And like I said, they get 50%, okay, of whatever comes in. And they're gonna earn it and you're gonna be more than happy to give them that 50% because you don't have to customer service. You're not gonna have some old lady named Helen out of Montana asking 700 questions about it and then coming up why it's not gonna work because my person that got me involved just made about $12,000 last week, all right? And she's badass, and wait till you meet her. And you could give all the excuses in the world. This is just a really nice mom with a badass kid and husband. And you know what? She made 12 grand in one week, and we didn't. And she has nothing, no special elixirs. There's no magic potions. This is just following through. On, on, on certain things that you're gonna to be told to do either for free or according to your budget. Because only you know your budget. If you got five bucks, then you got five bucks. If you got 500 bucks, then spend it. It's gonna be worth it than some stupid trip that you don't need. Just, you know, Christmas is gonna, God, I just hate, Christmas kills everybody. It's just sad. But if you can make some extra money, great. Okay, well, anyway, if you're just tuning in in Europe, or in fine Asian countries, I'm Corey Draper. Uh, good to see you guys live. I'm uh, posting this on all my software. This is going through Zoom and I've got it live on my own personal uh, Facebook pages. Right now it's six o'clock. I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. What the hell's going on? I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen a little bit and just kind of show a few things. I can't show you everything because there's a lot of private information of my own account and out of disrespect of, of the 1500 people that are chomping at the bit that want to know what I do, I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you their information because I want the sale. I busted my ass. I want 50% if they buy something. But I'm more than happy to show you what I do. Um, more than happy. And if I got your friendship, man, I'm just as happy as a pig in poop, okay? Okay, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and hit a couple buttons. And I hope I'm just even live on Facebook right now still. <laughs> so anyway, hold on just a second, okay, you guys? Let me... Um, I'm, uh, I got to hit the share screen button here. And like usual, I'm probably not even. Uh, okay, can you guys see my? Can you guys see my screen? No, oh, let me hit. Uh, let's see. It's a little slow. It just takes a second. I've got so many dang, uh, so many screen screens open right now. You know what I should probably do? Okay. All right. Um, my YouTube channel should be popped up right now. All right. Uh, I'm more than happy. I've, I've spent a lot of money on how to be interesting on YouTube. And that's how do I get people to even watch my video so I can qualify to be uh, paid with people that just click and watch my, my crazy videos. Some are dumb, like how to scramble an egg in a microwave. Another one, I balance a waffle. Um, some I have trucking videos, how to shift an 18 speed. But if you look right there, you can see I got 10,400 subscribers and I've got some videos that get millions of views, which is, you know, some of my videos get more than Taylor Swift. And I'm, I'm really happy about that because I, you know, I'm a nobody. I'm just a big mouth that lives in Salt Lake City. But if I can help you guys just, uh, you know, open up your own YouTube channel and just show you how I do videos and share videos and market videos, you know, I'd love to do that. And right now, if you just look at my screen, you know, Corey Draper, 10,000 subscribers. And what I do is I'll put a video up and then underneath it, see it says, please watch my 20, 20 minute uh, presentation. And this particular example, freedombabyyeah.com. If you guys click that, you can watch a 20 minute video and it kind of explains just a little bit of stuff. And like I said, it's just enough to get your feet wet, you know, just to see, you know, just to go to the next step, you know, and I, I like to speak 
like I'm spoke like, like like I'm talking to you know somebody just sitting on the couch. But you know, if you're shy, scared of talking to people, and really hate sales, period, this program might be down your alley. The video is 20 minutes. It'll explain what to do. If you need more info, get a hold of us. You can definitely answer all the questions. And like I said, you get an 800 number, and you can contact the company, and they're more than happy to just answer 500 of your questions if that's what it takes. But you know, sales can be a massive wa a massive waste of time. Uh, if you don't know how to talk to people um, that way, and then at the bottom, just please watch the 20 minute video, you know, avoid Facebook and social media when you're watching it. Cause you know, a lot of times, and I'm, I'm guilty as hell. I can't wait to have my cell phone at my hip and I stare at it while I'm trying to learn at the same time. So don't be too crazy guys. <laughs> Try just watch the video for 20 minutes. It's not that hard. Okay. All right. The main, let me flip uh, my screen again. Okay. Now the main company is digital income system. All right. You can see it on the left there. Okay. When, or if you want to go ahead and get aboard this, uh, this choo-choo train, you're going to get your own web link and you're going to have a whole back office like you're looking at right now. Okay. Basically, if you look at the bottom of your screen here, it says capture, capture page. It says digitalincomesystem.com forward slash 7427. All right. That is my exact link that I promote. And, and like I said, the, you know, don't be overwhelmed. I'm just talking about a lot of stuff here, but this is all ABC123, really simple stuff. But all they do is go to a capture page. And I'm going to show you what the capture page looks like. See this right here where I'm circling? And when you go ahead and join, you, you have choices of tons of, of website capture pages. I'm going to pick this one. Okay, so look at your screen. When you type in freedombabyyeah.com, this is the screen that pops up. You know, what do people, uh, what do these people have that you don't have? The secret is 100% hands-free income. Okay. Like I said, you're not going to do any selling. You're not going to talk to anybody. People are requesting this information that you're never going to probably meet anyway. They're going to look at this and they're not even really going to care. They're going to just put their name and their email and they can put their cell phone if they want to. So let's go ahead and just do a demo run. Let's put in uh, Elvis uh, email uh, my own pure rock radio. So I'll just put in pure rock radio at G what is it? Gmail.com. And then let's see pure rock radio gmail.com. Okay. And then the cell phone, who care? Let's just put it. I'll put my studio line 801-850-6969. Believe it or not, that is my real, <laughs> that's my real phone number. Okay. Here we go. Get access. And I'm just showing you what people do. This is how easy it is. And like I said, these are people searching for information. And this is basically uh, information to buy, digital products. Okay, see this right here? They're going to read it. Now they can request a callback where the company, a human being, calls them. Or they're going to watch the video. Okay, you can click watch the video there. But if you want to read a little bit here, it just describes some things. But at the end of the day, Here's the 20 minute video. All right, you can pause it, rewind it. Everybody can kind of get into it. And then, like I said, if they like what they see, then the next step is the company is gonna start contacting them if they want more information. They're not gonna beg them because if you try to beg someone to do something like, oh, do Avon or do MLM, I don't chase anybody. People come after me. If their information, if they seek information, on how to do something or to better their lives with extra money, then great. I, I have all day uh, for them to get excited and whatnot, but that's all it is. They just fill out their information on that one page that I showed you. And then when you have your own web page, you know, this is the back office and you're going to have leads. There's traffic where you can either purchase, if you have some extra money, you can buy solo ads which are people that you're not going to meet, but they're hungry. They want information. And uh, if you got, let's say like a hundred bucks, uh, when you go into the toolbox and the resource section, we've got companies already that, that are experts at this exact system. 
if you want postcards mailed out, and believe me, that is still effective. I used to thought it was old school, but do you realize how many people that live in smaller areas or they're bullheaded like my dad that go, oh, I don't need no computer, but you know what? They love getting the Sunday paper. They love getting a magazine. They love getting them those city weekly magazines that are free, you know, at gas stations and stuff. But the postcard business is kind of like how the albums are now. It's kind of cool to have an album where they obviously got phased out about what, like 1985 or so. But postcards are still very, very effective. And if you have a couple bucks, this company will actually, it'll even, um, oh, let me log in. Uh, let me just show you, this is just the back area. Um, when you click this, see right here, it says start here. It'll give you all you need just to fill out your, you know, your information and what you need. Direct mail is postcards. So if you have a couple bucks, this company will mail out really good, you know, proven postcards and they're all linked to you. And if anybody joins, the minimum you'll make is 500 bucks. And I'll, I'll just discuss the money in just a minute here. There's also text ads. Uh, how many, you know, you folks get texts now that are required, that, that are asking you for something? Or do you want to buy something or do you want a mortgage or... Um, I hate that. It pisses me off. But when somebody requests something and they want to text to them, how nice is it if you can have a company that only blasts out your information, which is like, hey, uh, you know, if you're looking for this and you're looking for that and you have money for this and that, visit here, freedombabyyad.com, and then let's go to the next level. But you know, we're going to text people that want the information. This isn't spam. This isn't like, oh, okay, well, let's just, you know, let's just go see if something's desirable. We're going to step out in front of something and that's people requesting stuff. And then we're going to give it to them. So there's text ads that you can pay for. There's direct mail, which is actually stamps and whatnot. And then there's solo ads. Solo ads, it, it's kind of misleading what it really is, but it's, it's simple. Basically it is just like, it's something that, that, that gets people looking for a certain thing or subject or, or, or service. In this case, it's information. They want digital information. They want to download something and they want to read about it, or they want to put it on their tablet, or they just want to stream it. This company, digital income system they've got tons of literature that you read and then they've also got stuff in video form we don't even have to know anything about it because we're not gonna we don't care don't don't get all confused thinking that you have to memorize everything let the people that come go shopping just open the door to walmart let them come in and purchase and leave if they want to go to the university of utah let them decide the courses they want and let them buy I can't stress enough how you don't have to worry about what you're selling because the website has everything for sale and then whatever, they, whatever they're gonna purchase at whatever level, it's up to them. And if they wanna call the company and negotiate, or not negotiate, but you know, there, there is no uh, you know, sales price, so to speak. There is a couple uh, 24 hour uh, incentives. But anyway, what this company is, is basically like a college and, there, and let the people walking through the doors decide who they want to be, what they want to be, what they want to spend, and how they want to do it. Okay, so there's texting to phones, there's direct mail like postcards, there's social media, like what I love. I love video, I love Instagram, but what I do is I do everything on Facebook and then it's all tied into Facebook. Let's see, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I have it all configured so when I post once, it goes to all my accounts like within one second. And I can help you guys do that. You know, I have more, I, I just love to teach. If I can, you know, even if you guys are kind of tired and you don't even want to watch a video how to do it, if I can go live on a Zoom meeting or on Facebook real quick and just show you on my screen, sometimes it's just funner like that. You just need your hand held a little bit and uh, to get you across uh, that rut you know, because it's just so easy to get tired and just get stuck. And then you don't follow through and then you blow all this money. And then you think, oh, God, no one makes money online. 
Uh, it's just not true, you guys. There's plenty of people that do this business and they're very successful and you're gonna start meeting them um, almost on a daily basis here real soon. So anyway, uh, this is just the back office. There's nothing fancy. This is just stuff that you click and it goes into certain things. Um, for example, if you see my screen now, just look in the middle there. Um, at the first level, and I'll discuss this in a minute, this is all the stuff that you download, the master's classes, the business mindset, take control of your life, self-improvement, leadership for, uh, you know, amazing advertising tips, beginner's guide to articles. See, it, there's PDFs that you can just read. And then when you double click all this stuff, you know, a lot of it is video, uh, which people prefer. But all, all you do is you just download, when you purchase stuff, you just download it on your own server, your own computer, your own laptop. So whatever people are buying, they own it. Okay. It's not like stuck on a cloud. It's not streamed, you know, and I like that when I sell digital products, it's kind of like buying a book, you know, it, it, it's like you're buying a textbook, you own it, you can take it home. And if you lose it or throw it away or keep it forever or print it out, it's up to the person buying, but you don't have to inventory anything. You don't have to stock nothing. All you got to do is just simply get people to look at one website uh, like freedombabyyeah.com and that's all you do. And then the company will notify you when people purchase, they will give you the, all their information if you even care. Okay, so that's kind of in a nutshell of what it is. People searching for information and whatever they buy, they're going to buy. Just let them shop away. Now, this is the money part. Okay. And like I said, this is a business. This isn't like free. And then all of a sudden you make millions of dollars and then you go to Hawaii and go, boy, that was easy. You've got to invest some money. It takes a little money to make little money. And if you got a little bit more money or a lot of money, then obviously you're going to make more along the way. Okay. So anyway, let me switch my screen real quick. I just got to, I got to go uh, to another website here. Hold on just a sec. Let me stop share. Okay, can you guys see my tired face? Hey everyone, if you're on Facebook, what's going on? Just shoot, shooting the shooting the, the the shoot. I don't want to swear on these videos, but I'm shooting the sheet. That's not uh, bad to say, is it? Okay. What I want to do is discuss how much the education that people will be buying. Okay. All right. So let me share my screen again. I gotta I gotta go ahead and let's see. I gotta hit share. Okay, there we go. Hold on just a sec, you guys. Sorry, it takes me a while. I'm not used to sharing my other screens here. Oh, whoops, it's not switching. Just give me two seconds. Two seconds, give me two seconds. Okay, let me switch this one over here. Okay, now let me switch my screen. Hey, you guys having a good morning? Yeah, it's morning here where I'm at. What is it, 6.15? All right, I've been shooting uh, my first hour here. Okay, I'm going to share my screen now. Sorry to take so long. I wasn't prepared. I'll be prepared my next video. How's that? Deal? Okay, right now, I just, you know, you should see a white screen. All right. Who the heck am I? Corey Draper. I've been in radio, nightclubs, trucking, and I, I've done a lot of YouTube stuff and made money and uh, a lifelong entrepreneur, that's for sure. The company I'm talking about is Digital Income System. They're legit. They're a great company. There's live people that actually go to work and there's uh, coaches and uh, there's a whole full sales staff. I don't need to tell you about freedom. We all want it. Everybody's job sucks. Lifestyle probably sucks. We, we want to increase our savings. We want retirement money. Maybe we'd like to travel more. Do we have health issues? Do we need dental work? You know, do we have like our teeth whitened or do we have like a crown that's wearing out? Uh, you know, if you love the computer, if you love teaching and you love your cell phone, you can probably do this business because it's fun. All this technical stuff I'm showing you, you don't even have to worry about once you start going. And if you like Facebook and social media, um, it, it's just awesome. And besides college now, if you look right there, college is super expensive. I'm 53 years old. And to be honest, I feel uncomfortable. If I went to a college now, I know I'd be probably the oldest in a classroom. And I, I think that the students would probably even do snide remarks maybe, but um, you know, it's expensive 
and it might be dated information that you're learning anyway if you go to a college. But I, I think learning at home at your own pace is awesome. And if you can watch videos and learn something great, or if you just want to make some extra money. And like I said, I like this business because I meet people and I make money. Okay, now here it is. Look on the center of my screen, levels of education, okay? And each level of education has so much stuff I couldn't possibly do. It'd probably take me three hours to describe everything you get with the different levels, okay? Now, if you want to participate in this business, the minimum it's gonna cost you is $1,000, okay? It's not gonna kill you and it is a lot of money, but if you put skin in the game, it's a little more realistic that you'll follow through and, and your commissions, the minimum is 500. All you need is two sales, all right? This isn't the type of company that's MLM. This isn't where one passes up to your upline and then another one goes five deep and seven over and blah, blah, blah. MLM sucks, I hate it. I could give a rat's ass about MLM. And like I said, I grew up with uh, uh, the most successful MLM company in Utah and one of the biggest in the world and I still don't do it, I, I, I hate that. If you sell something, you deserve the commission on every single sale. So if you buy the first level one at 1,000, okay, you will make $500 on all of the sales that come in, 50%, okay? If you buy level two, level two is 3,000, obviously your commission on all sales at level two that come in are 1,500 and so on and so on. There's education that's five grand, there's higher levels of education that are 12 grand, and there's even expert levels of education that are 25,000. Guess what? People buy this information. Like I said, please don't limit yourself because if you own the U of U, what are you gonna do? Block out people that wanna spend $25,000 a quarter? Of course not, let them shop, let them decide what form of education they want and what levels they wanna buy in, okay? Now, with this type of system, if you're locked in at the $1,000 level, and that's what I'm starting at. Like I said, I'm starting from scratch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I do daily and whatever results I get. And if I have a tip or something that works, great. I can't, I can't wait to just make a little video about it. So if I go ahead and I start at the $1,000 level, that means that all of the education that's bought at the $1,000 level, I get 500 bucks, okay? My goal, just every week is, can I get two people to just come aboard and probably buy in at the lowest level? And I've got 1,500 fresh leads that are waiting for me to hit go this afternoon. So out of the 1,500 emails, do you think I can maybe get just one person to maybe buy at the $1,000 level? I think I got a pretty good chance. Um, if I get two, then I'm already broken even. Because if I get two people to buy, two times 500 is 1,000. That's how much that I started. I just bought the $1,000 level of education and, and, and I'm happy with that. Because now I'm gonna hit hard. I'm gonna focus on marketing and not selling because I hate sales. So now here's where it gets interesting. And for the person that brought me into this, she's gonna love me long time because right now she's getting commissions of 2,500, 6,000, one of my friends uh, got 12 G's the other day. Now, if I buy $3,000 education, not only do I get the $500, but I also get the $1,500 because I get 50%. So how nice is that? If someone buys into the $5,000 level, that means I've got to own the level as well, okay? So I'm not gonna profit all these bigger commissions here if I don't own one of these courses that are at the higher level, okay? So not to confuse you, but I'll just do like a really stupid, simple scenario. I'm at the $1,000 level. That means that I get $500 commissions, okay, on every form. Even if someone comes in at five grand, which is by far the number one purchased um, education level right now. So that means the person who you're gonna meet, she's gonna come live on my uh, chit chats, 
that means she's like, thank you, Corey, since you don't have the $5,000 course. And if someone came in at the $5,000 course, look what she gets. She gets the $1,500 commission and the $2,500 commission as well. I mean, how nice is that? So she makes a lot more money because she went ahead and saved some money and went ahead and bought the 5,000. Uh, she's made so much money, she actually owns every course. She's at the $25,000 mark and it didn't even cost her any money out of her pocket, I don't think, because she made so much money of just getting commissions off people buying the courses. She went ahead and went all in, they like to call it. So, but yeah, like I said, um, all this is automatically decided. You don't have to get your calculator out and worry about this and worry about that. Any commission that comes in uh, will be FedEx to you. Okay, there's tracking. You're gonna get it in form of a check. So what you're gonna do is just go down to FedEx and, and uh, get your packet if it's in the mail and go down to your favorite bank and you've gotta pay taxes on it. It's all tracked. You know, I, I know it's hard to sometimes get cash in the mail and, and, and think that you don't have to pay taxes on it, but of course you do, okay? Uh, it's kind of like you're a loan officer, just a straight commission person with this company. Uh, you're, you're responsible for your own income tax, okay? So, so like I said, it's 50% commissions. Um, I'm doing the $1,000 one right now just to get some traction, just to get my skin in the game. And right now, my goal is just to get a couple people a week to go ahead and buy the $1,000 course because that'll put a thousand bucks in my pocket. Okay. Two people, you know, two times 500 and there's uh, four weeks in a month. So if I can bring in like four grand, you know, that's awesome. You know, it pays my bills, my cell phone, my food. I buy a lot of uh, energy drinks and energy bars, but right now I think I can pretty easily get a couple people per week. To, to go ahead and buy just the minimum course. And like I said, I'm not selling anything. I'm not doing nothing. All I'm doing is talking about this and doing a couple bucks for paid advertising because I don't have time to redo this and make websites and go door to door like Avon or Amway. Uh, the internet is huge, but the best way to get leads right now is if you have a couple bucks, buy solo ads. And those are people that are looking for education. They're looking to make money somehow. And when they look at this type of presentation, not only do they get the education, but they go, my God, man, uh, how hard is it to get people just to look at my website and market? It's not as hard as you think. And like I said, if I can help you guys out, if you're stuck or if you're all you know, confused right now, just listening to me chit chat here for an hour, uh, just take baby steps, go to freedombabyyad.com, just relax and just take it in. And then just ask yourself, do you like the cell phone? Do you like Facebook? Do you like Instagram? Do you like making a couple extra bucks? Or do you have just a business where you want to educate yourself on how to get more people to look at your website? So, you, you know, maybe you're a dentist, maybe you're selling real estate. Um, God, maybe you just want more likes. You just feel bad that all your posts aren't getting people, you know, you're, they're not looking at your posts. Uh, but this is great for the social aspect of stuff and for making a living to where you can actually live off this quite comfortably. Um, I, I've got guests coming on that have made over one to 200 grand just in the first couple months. And this isn't hype. Their results are different than what mine's gonna be and yours is gonna be because everybody has a different budget and work ethic, time and desirability and excuse factor. Because a lot of people, they got so many excuses that they just don't follow through, not only in this type of business, but in, in most things in life. So, so anyway, uh, just remember this isn't MLM and everything, all this education is stuff that you do not have to memorize. You don't have to know what it is. Uh, just know that there's some really nice things for people to buy and that you get 50% of whatever they purchase based upon what education level you're qualified at. Obviously, if you got a $25,000 course and someone the next day buys a $25,000 course, you've got 12,500 bucks coming to you FedEx and they pay quickly. They don't hold it for a month or two and then you forget and all of a sudden you get notified, all right? So in two sales, that 25 grand is already back. My friends that are leaders in this business, 
they got their 25 grand back the first week or two because people have that type of budget. When I first started this vi video, I was worried that people believe the news. And, and if you're in a financial rut right now, or if you're broke, that doesn't mean everyone else is. All right. There's plenty of people that even have a credit card. If they want to spend recklessly and spend five grand on education, or they just want to do the business, like what you and I will probably be doing, good for them. Because you know what? If they come in at five grand, look at that. They only need two sales at five grand to break even, you know, and that's not that hard to do. It really isn't. I'm just starting out at the thousand dollars because I want to show that the money that I make over the next week or two, I'm just going to reinvest into the three thousand dollar course, and I want to eventually get all in. Because if somebody does a twelve thousand uh, dollar buy, guess who gets the six thousand dollar commission? My upline, the girl, the girl that introduced this to me, and she's going to call me and probably give me a big old kiss through the phone. Her husband probably won't even mind. He'd be like, you know what? Go ahead and kiss Corey on the cheek, you know, for not upgrading to the higher levels of education. But I plan on putting a ton of money in her pocket. And she does. If I put a hundred thousand bucks in her pocket in the next month, I'm glad because she was smart enough to get a hold of me to get me in this business. So uh, it's not MLM. You don't have to do any minimum buys. If you purchase the thousand dollar level or more, that's it. You're not phased out because you don't have your credit card on auto bill and all that other nonsense. If you sell something, you get a commission instantly. You get 50%, no more, no less. And I like it that way. So don't think there's minimums and your credit card gets dinged 49.95. And then when you go to cancel, you can't. Like a tanning salon, for example, they always drag it on for a month or two. This company doesn't have time for that. If you don't like what you see, you can cancel right away. You get to keep the education, but right now, is it realistic that if you have a thousand dollars, do you think you can get two sales, just two sales by advertising, by networking, by using, you know, skills that I use in uh, social media and uh, it's fun. It's not really work to be honest. Uh, and if you're already on Facebook kind of watching me, uh, I think that, you know, that, that you're really good at social media already. And like I said, you're not going to call or talk to anybody. That's the last thing. Uh, what I advise is don't use your home address. If you're working out of home, just go to the UPS store. Uh, it's 20 bucks a month, I think. And they have like a physical address. So it's not embarrassing. Don't get a PO box. That's like old school. And it looks pathetic. Just go to the UPS store, give them a couple bucks and you'll have a physical street address. All right. You go to GoDaddy. Uh, for example, I, I went to freedombabyyeah.com, less than 20 bucks. And all I do is just forward, you know, uh, the link that I get to the company. And, and that's all I do. There's nothing else for me to do. I can't really mess this up. Okay. They have coaches and experts at Digital Income System. And they're awesome. I promise you, when you call them, you're going to love them. They are super smart, super nice. And they're, uh, I'm not going to say who they're, what their names are, but they're so real. They're even on Facebook. And boy, I'll tell you, it's nice when you don't have to call India or Bangladesh or all the other customer service reps that, that, that are out of the country. Uh, this is an American company. All right. Uh, my upline sponsor, I'll introduce, I'll let her do the talking and all that stuff. I love to use Zoom software. All right. That's where I can have a whole ton of people on at the same time and we can share screens and whatnot. I like to do that every day. Because if you guys are stuck or if you're having a, some information or just want to say hi, why not? God, I always have an hour to kill, man. That's for sure or more. And that's it right there. If you just go to freedombabyyad.com, watch the 20-minute video, see if you're even remotely interested. And if you're not, don't worry about it. You know, uh, just watch. Just watch my videos. Uh, but like I said, um, there's no selling involved. The company does everything for you. All you got to worry about is just getting people in my case, freedombabyyad.com. And right now there are so many ways for free and there's so many ways for five bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, 500 bucks. Uh, if you can get into a business, you know, that can get your, your money back almost, God, within a week, realistically, maybe even two weeks, I can't promise any incomes, 
because your work ethic is definitely you know different than mine and even my sponsors and whatnot but it's pretty pretty realistic that you can break even and that's nice because even if you break even at least you tried and you did your best to try to do something online and there's no stock and inventory and all that crap so uh, but this is a great company i've done my due diligence i've given it a few months to kind of stress test them and beat them up a little bit and see if i can you know uh you know break them and you know i mean you know what i mean you just want you just want to know that the company's there and there's a real person and i appreciate that and besides that they're nice uh, i like that as well they were able to you know handle my my pain in the ass questions and my smart assness if there's such a word and stuff but but anyway um like i said this is mostly for my asian and my european connections i hope you guys have a good night over there i know that you're nine hours ahead so you're about three in the afternoon over there and in, in uh, europe and all my buddies in asian countries it's already nighttime uh here in utah it's about six something in the morning i'm gonna go ahead and shower shampoo and shine and have me the best bowl of cereal with bananas in it that can possibly uh, be had and just thanks for hanging out the last hour or two i just wanted to kind of check my microphones and my screens and 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 whatnot and i'm just going to show you what i do like i said i'm not begging anyone to do this business this is just something that might um, be of your interest it's kind of fun even though my presentation here might might not make it sound like it but when it comes down to social this and social that and just being online in the comfort of your own home, you might as well be social and, and have some fun because you're going to do it on Facebook and Instagram anyway. And these people that if you do have some extra money for solo ads, they're already looking for information. They're going to go to someone else anyway and buy. It might as well be you, but don't reinvent the wheel. Don't think you have to go and hustle and stand in front of Walmart or go direct sales and tell people, oh, look, uh, you know, uh, here's an opportunity. This isn't that type of advertising and there is no sales involved. The company, let them do it. They're really good at what they do. And sales is a pain in the ass. Unless you're selling, I don't know, something that's, I don't know. Maybe uh, Pablo Escobar, he probably, he loves selling, but you know, he had to pay the price in Colombia, didn't he? But I think you guys know what I mean. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, go on with my day. I'll see you guys a thousand more times and I'll just, it, it's easy. I, there's, um, there's no way to even call me or ask me any questions about this because you go to freedombabyyeah.com and then you got the 800 numbers and the coaches will ask anything. And on top of that, if you go ahead and you fill out your information, and if you want to talk to me or whatever, I have, I have all day for you guys. I, I'm not the type of guy looking for time and freedom, and I'm not going to come up with a bunch of crazy things with scarcity. Um, I, I, I love social media. I'm going to be here anyway, uh, promoting rock music or this or my personal life. And I love to do business like this because it's just as fulfilling and fun. I can be a smart ass and talk about Def Leppard, and in the meantime, I might have two people uh, go ahead and buy some education and I've got a thousand bucks in my pocket and I'm going to show you that. My personal plan, I'm pretty sure I can do 20 G's a month within two months and it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger because the more confident and the more you believe in it, it, it becomes fun and easier to follow through, but it's addicting. Once you start making a little bit of money, it's amazing how you can't wait for your kids to leave, your husband to go watch football, or your wife to go maybe do something with the kids in the backyard. Uh, I don't know, but you can't wait to just go, God, I want to get online. This is so addicting. That's what's nice about this. It's not really a business after a while. It's kind of fun and it's social. And you can't stop people buying information products. That's it. Like I said, just pretend you're at the U of U or you're at your favorite college and you're sitting there going, nope, you can't come in. Nope, you can only do general ed. You are not gonna be a doctor or a lawyer. Nope, go back. No scholarship money for nobody. That's the beauty of this type of business. People are buying it anyway. You're gonna stand in front and get a 50% commission, but you're not gonna sell jack sh squat. I haven't swore once in this whole live stream. So, all right, on the replay, I'll probably edit it a little bit. I ran long. 
but I just wanted to test out all my performance and see if my screens are working and everything else. So I think we're all uh, good, right? Okay, man, I'll let you guys go. And thanks for just checking in and, and watching my live video. And if you guys, you know, have time to check out freedombabyyad.com, that's, that's all I do. I just spread information and I've got almost 1500 people ready to go. And I'm going to start uh, triggering that today. So it's ready, set, go for me. And like I said, uh, you guys can study what information is out there with this company. But I personally, I'm, do, I'm doing a thousand bucks and uh, I'm very excited. And I plan on uh, buying more information as we go. So, okay, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great morning and have a great night if you're over there in Europe. And of course, uh, my good buddies in uh, all the Asian countries out there. All right, man. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.